And the bone itself and the surrounding surface of the implant then actually grows into these little surfaces. The fixation of the device is twofold, uh, both on this side and this side. And the fixation is first what I call press fit. And basically what that means is that we channel out the femur bone. And then when I drive this into the bone, it takes on that configuration and the bone is absolutely tight against that. So you get a press fit. And then the bone itself and the surrounding surface of the implant then actually grows into these little surfaces. And that's where the actual secondary stability comes from. So you really got two fixations here. You got the press fit, press fit here where it's contacts there, and then you actually got the bone ingrowth into the device to lock it in. So they tend to be very, very tight.